Hi everyone, Bill Fairman, Carolina Capital Management here. Welcome to the show. I wanted to take a few minutes to talk about a wonderful opportunity that I had with Scott Myers, his lovely wife, Christina, puts together a group to do a mission trip in Ensenada, Mexico, once a year. And this mission trip is sponsored by a group called Youth with a Mission. And for short, it's YWAM, and you can get information, ywam.org. And their, their mission, obviously, is the, they're a Christian-based group. Their mission is to spread the word. But what they do, which is really helpful in, in the third world countries, and, and they're, they, they have bases all over the world. But they're trying to do what they can to break the cycle of, of poverty by providing housing that's safe for the children and the families so that next generation uh, can grow up with uh, you know, the thought of, yes, I can, I can do it. And as long as they're in a safe environment uh, where they have a, at least a concrete floor instead of a dirt floor, uh, it's easier for the kids to study and get an education and, and better themselves when they know that they're, they, they have a nice uh, home to go to. Uh, versus some of the things you'll see in some of the pictures that I'm going to uh, show here in just a moment. But it was a awesome trip. Yeah, we built, there was 42 of us uh, on this trip. We flew into San Diego. We chartered a bus from there that took us down to Ensenada. It was a beautiful ride too along the coast. Uh, so you have uh, these uh, beautiful mountains and then the uh, Pacific Ocean, uh, nice deep and blue to look out on. I, I tell you, it when you go you go into another country like that, it really makes you appreciate what you have. And the homes along the coast are these big giant mansions, and then you see these little shacks, and some of them you can't even call shacks. Going back towards the towards the east, away from from the ocean. But one thing that struck me was uh, the children. Uh, they are always smiling and happy to be there. And it was just an awesome trip. So I'm going to share some pictures and um, let you guys see for yourself here. So this is the base camp. They, uh, th this particular base camp was a hotel in Ensenada. And they've taken it and they're rehabbing it. So as you can see, they've still got scaffolding up. Kind of, uh, I forget what, what you call that color, but it's kind of peach looking. <laughs> That's where the offices are, the kitchen, all that. Where the scaffolding is are, are rooms. They, they have some rooms that are set up for families, but the, m most of the rooms are set up. And, and again, this is youth with a mission. So they're, they're typically, 18 to 20 something year olds. Uh, each room has you know, four bunk beds and three bathrooms. R really nice. Just, just been completed for the most part. They're, they're beautifully designed. And we all had every morning we met here for breakfast. And as you can see that tent in the back, right back here, we had a buffet uh, breakfast. And then every evening we met back here for a uh, buffet dinner as well. And surprisingly enough, it was Mexican food. <laughs> All right. So here's the slab we started with. I know what you're thinking when you're looking at these pictures. Wow. This is what most people park their lawnmower in. And yes, it is basically the size of a larger workshop or tool shed. And most of the homes were, you know, we're from. So we just finished framing the walls and we put the siding up. We built two homes in two days. Now they don't have any running water. So there's no plumbing in here. So we are able to get these homes up quickly uh, without having to deal with uh, any, any plumbing issues. But we did wire all of them for uh, electricity. Uh, they have lights, a front porch light, ceiling lights, and they're, they're going to be a two bedroom with a, front living space, dining room, kitchen, living room area in the front. 
So you have lights, you have outlets. Each one has three windows and a door for cross breezes. Folks here are paying cash for their land. It's costing them about $1,500 to $2,000 to buy these little plots of land that they're living on. So here's another angle of the home. My job was operating the chop saw most of the time, and I'm, I was also wiring uh, the, the electrical. I did some other stuff as well. Again, this house to the left was uh, built by the same mission a couple of years ago. So we built the two houses. We split up into two groups. So we had a red team and a blue team, and uh, I was on the red team. So we had uh, 20 folks here working on this at a time, which was really fun because we, we kept banging into each other. I took this picture specifically because I wanted, wanted you to see how they recycle down there. So this fence post is a big giant PVC pipe beaten into the ground. And then the rest of these, as you can see, are just trees, sticks essentially driven into the ground. And if you look out here, you don't see any trees. So they had to scavenge for that too. But if you'll notice what the fence is made out of, these are inner coil springs from an old mattress. But hey, it makes a really good fence, doesn't it? Uh, this is the outhouse that was on the premises, still there. So inside is pretty basic. We just drywall, we paint. We did cut out of the drywall here in the kitchen between the wood here and add shelves. Now the back of this is painted, but this is just a drywall from the bedroom on the other side of the wall. But it's a nice little added touch. We also went to the stores and purchased some furniture for them, some bunk beds, some dining room table. We had uh, a, a kitchen cabinet type of thing, but they have no running water. So what we had to do with the, the sink was put in a plug underneath. So you'd bring in your bucket of water, you would pour it into the sink, you'd do the washing that you'd need. The bucket then goes underneath the cabinet and then you pull the plug and the, the dirty water goes back into the bucket and then you can take it out. This is uh, the father, two boys. He has uh, two girls as well. Uh, this is me and this is uh, part of the group we were with. Uh, so this is the finished house. You can see we have vents up here in the top and that helps with uh, ventilation as well. But um, it, the house ends up with some nice little extras. We, we threw some shutters in here, a uh, little, little porch overhanging. We, we used the wood that we had. This was, were the leftover two by fours that we cut to make a little stoop for them. Again, you're thinking that's not much. Here's the, here's the little girls. This is one of the neighbors. You can see they got more paint on themselves than they did on the walls. <laughs> This and why I was saying it's uh, what we're building isn't much, but look at what they were living in. This is a wood structure and it's just covered in plastic, with mud floors. Um, there's their stove. They do have electricity, as you can see over here. So they got an outlet. Um, but yeah, not the greatest place for kids to grow up. It's a family of four living in here. And here's just an example of some of the other structures that uh, people are living in. So if you guys ever get a chance to do some mission work, uh, I'm telling you, you should take it up. Volunteer. I, we could have easily just written a check, but uh, I felt like I needed to uh, get a little bit more involved. I really appreciate that because now it makes me really appreciate the, uh, what I thought I had problems. They're just annoyances. Uh, we, we have first world problems. They have third world problems. And uh, these people were so grateful that they have uh, what they have now. And again, I was just blown away by how happy 
and smiling. The children were all the time, even when they're living in these areas. They don't, they don't know any better. So again, youth with a mission, they'll take, you know, monetary donations as well. But you can volunteer to any of their places. Uh, you don't have to build houses. You can just go and be the ones that are fixing the meals for the people that are building the homes. Take a, a week to go somewhere, spend two or three days there, and then you can always vacation a few days in, in one of those uh, resort cities as well. So I, I highly recommend it. So uh, that, that's what I have for, for now. Again, thanks to Scott Myers and, and Christina for inviting me. I'm going to do it again next year. So if anybody wants to join us, uh, please contact me at uh, carolinahardmoney.com. Again, please like and uh, share. We're going to have other videos up and above, some other content as well. Thank you so much for, for joining us. So thank you so much for joining us. If you really like what you heard, you want to see some more, switch over here or <laughs> here or perhaps there. There's more episodes, but they're somewhere. Yeah. I think Click they're, it on. They're up. By the way, subscribe and like us as well. Please.